for sure. I'm sure Imjima is also a pretty um, pedigreed fighting game player as well. All these yeah. guys, I'm sure, uh, probably no strangers. This is the next step up, and I hope that after this top eight, we get to see more of these guys uh, in similar <laughs> stages like this, you know? Get these guys out there. They need to travel. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sponsors, please pick up these guys. Shiki. Versus the demon boy, Hisame Shizumaru. Lakchu Sammumai. You know what's interesting? Commentating most fighting games. Yeah. I always feel like you, you never get that much silence, that much downtime in between words, not that much, you know, all that air. Sure. But in Samurai Showdown, it's almost like you, you, you just have to watch. Yeah. Just, you're as, you have to be as patient as the player. Yeah, sometimes I'm holding my breath. I catch myself doing that, and it's really bad. <laughs> no, it's fine. No wasted words, no wasted movements. All right. He gets the throw right off the bat. Shiki, uh, I think, has the fastest run in the game, so it's very hard to react to her running at you to throw you. She's got pretty good... Oh, but he just tried right there. Had to guess, though. Yeah. Gamera was baiting something with that. And that's Data, you know? Ooh. Seeing how Mjima reacts to that run-up that time. Very can't good Data think he can't, he's not, uh, Mjima can't afford to think about him showing that card, though. Right. Wow. Let's him jump on him. Yeah, Gamera, uh, I've said this before, but he doesn't yeah. jump at you very often. So whenever he does, it's really hard to like um, to deal with it appropriately. Yeah, yeah it's at a weird uh, time, and you're just like, oh, man, I wasn't even thinking anti Yeah. <laughs> Gamera just baiting anything right there. Yeah, Gamera, he was reading a jump forward out of the corner, and that's why he did that fadeaway jump. Uh, <laughs> Woo, nice. and there's that Yo, DP. Perfect he was talking about that. that. Yeah, good, good stuff. <laughs> Oh, wow, big whip, but no punish. Use the light version. I think he just was like, I don't see anybody ever using that. Yeah. Always oh, running away, trying to run out that clock. Yeah. Very, uh, you know, effective strategy, I think. Gamera, we've seen, I think he's, we've seen the most timeouts, I think, from him. Oh, for sure. This time, top eight. And Mjima just giving it up, saying, whatever, we'll see each other in the next round. I want to hold on to my rage. Okay, playing that pacifist mode. <laughs> What did you say yesterday to bring back the suicide mode? <laughs> oh, yeah, bring, please bring back suicide. That's okay, please. <laughs> we need that back. Nice. Finds an opportunity for the guard break. Again, Enjima is not reacting very well to me. Enjima uh, kind of got some lead in his shoes. Yeah, you see him pressing buttons now randomly, um, and that's to, that's to put out hit hitboxes for the other guy to run into. That's also a little bit of a panic option, too, though. It kind of is, because it opens you up to whip punishes or deflects. Mm -hmm. Right now, Gamera not feeling pressured to do anything. Feeling nice and comfortable despite not being at the life lead. Oh, you know what I'm waiting for, though? Oh, yeah. Bro, you already know. It's a turnaround punch. My man's is probably cooking that. I've been cooking that since the character select screen. That's coming, man. Yeah, dude, I can, I'm, like, I'm smelling. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. But I think even Gamera knows it's coming, so he's just thinking, I'm not doing anything. You can have the life lead. Yeah, bro. dude, even if there wasn't a tap threat, he doesn't do much. Yeah. You know? And that's actually the perfect play style to combat that mindset. Yeah, very, uh, you know, defensive compact style. No wasted movements. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to give himself, and they're not going to give Mjima too many opportunities yeah. to open him up for it. Yeah, totally. You know, he might have to, I mean, even if it comes down to using 2H to do it, he'll get the burst out of it. Right. Oh, yeah, he's definitely cooking that. This cup runneth over with tap charge. Oh! oh! Big whip yeah, there. Yeah, that was a big jump. Uh, kind of hurts himself in, his, in the foot, or shoots himself in the foot by uh, doing a throw um, during that punish, mm -hmm. scaling the damage. The damage yeah. Wow. All right, Mjima. Again. All right, there we go. That's the optimal punch that we wanted to see last time. And still, Gamera not abandoning the game plan. I mean, this is it's pretty tough now. 22 seconds. Uh, Shizumaru basically has a... Oh, n nice. Now, Ow. Last touch. Yes. 
Yeah, usually you see people at this deficit, at this time in the game, getting a little more desperate, getting a little more aggressive. Yeah. But Gamera has not changed at all. Yeah, I mean, he knows he's got that Rage Explosion in the back um, if, when, when the time comes. And that's going to add at least about 10 seconds to the clock. There it is. Nice. Oh. There's that jump C that oh, you're talking about. And now about. he's getting aggressive. Yeah, I mean, it's his. Oh! Yeah, is he gonna? Force, yeah, force a great it. explosion from Emjima. Oh my god. Yeah. He... Oh wow, and he gets the he throw! He just wanted to get away. He just wanted to get away. Emjima's rage is still ticking. Oh my goodness, it's not even gonna matter. His, his thought process was I raged to get out of that situation, and now I'm just going to back up until yours is gone. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he didn't even think. Yeah, he wasn't he ready for that run. He could be in that situation again. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Wow, and that was such, that was really amazing patient play from Gamera. Most players in that type of situation would fold and overextend themselves, right? Uh, but Gamera, he kept it cool, and uh, you know he got paid out for it. I think a lot of people, when they see the rage come out, even if they've already busted out their rage, they often just think, like, okay, now we just wait for our meters to run out, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. But totally. there is a clear loser in that situation yeah. still. And then Gamina knew that. That's why he, like, forced the issue yeah. so much. Mm, nice with punish. She said kokone, but it wasn't. Yeah, no, right. That wasn't the moment. What were you talking about? <laughs> what you swatting at? All right, again, Gamina playing that super patient game. does not matter what the health meter says. Nice uh -oh. backdash is the throw attempt. Big damage punish. Right, nice JD. All right, does not get a jump in for that. Gets the air to air heavy from yep. Shizumaru. Putting up the wall. Yep. Such Sword a great wall. hitbox on that. Yeah. You notice that uh, Mjima not using the backdash uh, float cancel poke. Yeah, that's true. So, well, I think it's because he's. Uh, I feel like he should though, because Gamera has been uh, doing run forward a lot. Right, right, and that was gonna definitely put out that wall to stop him. Instead, he's just sitting there throwing out five M. And that's a little bit slower. It is a bit slower. You're right, and, and uh, the far the far M also uh, not cancelable. Yeah. I think that's betraying him right now. I think he's not really throwing anything out there that's making Gamera think about changing his game plan right now. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, he's been kind of controlling the pace right now, is Gamera. Slowing it down quite a bit. Shizumara, I feel like he thrives kind of in chaos. Oh, for sure. Uh, making you kind of play his game of like, nice. Now he's probably scared. He's like, I can't do that either. I triple jumped, or I tried jumped into float. Still got hit with a DP. Oh, oh nice cross up. Went for the run under, but yeah, Shizumara has a very good cross up button in that jump medium. And if she had been crouching at that time, that definitely would have been combo damage. Absolutely. Can't nice care. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That was, he was reading a run forward throw there. Very high level, these uh, decisions that and these guys are making. That's, and that's a tell for him, Gima. Maybe you might want to think about a run forward guard break now. Emjima looking pretty comfortable right now. 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Ooh! That was a weird interaction. He actually had to turn around. He had to back turn on that. No DP there. Yeah, no, that was telegraphed. Oh, hello! That was really good. Uh, Emjima read that Gamera was going to try to chase him with a jump, so he pressed the jump C before he even saw Gamera jumping. And Gamera kind of jumped into it. Players, baby. Yep. Oh, no. that was so high, man. Yeah, that was the same interaction as before. He was expecting a jump rather than a throw, so that's why he did the jump C so early. Right. Again, Gamera sticking to that game plan. It does not matter what position either one of them is in. Yo, Chase on that? You heard that? <laughs> that was <Right>. reverbing everywhere. <laughs> Just, he's cooking it for sure. Oh my goodness. Uh, I know, I'm just thinking about it. Like, when's the opportunity gonna come? <laughs> it's been longer than 80 seconds, man. This thing is lethal at this Dude. point. Well, not lethal, but you know. It's a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Might even be lethal now, actually. Oh, yeah. He does have low health. And I think he just got a big tell when he could let it rip because yeah. he got a couple of low kicks in there, and then immediately Gamera responded yeah. with a low light slash. That might be his opportunity if he cuts up that situation again. I do I believe, though, if uh, the tap gets blocked by uh, Shiki, I think she can SSM it. Oh, for sure. So uh, I'm sure Aimejima knows this as well, and that's why he's so hesitant to do it, like, raw. Yeah, but in that case, he's probably going to want to abandon it soon, then. Oh, boy, there it is. Yeah, forced to, to stop the timer. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. But remember, the last time this happened, Mjima was the loser despite being the aggressor, uh, having gotten the last, uh, the second on the race. Oh my god, what a beautiful air to air. He's not even looking for the car. Nice tip out from Gamera. And this is winner's final, so it is, of course, a first three to three. Out of five. Three out of five. So he saw that at the towards the end there, he realized that, okay, he raised burst second, which means he's still on the ropes. Yeah. Which means he can still pursue, yeah. but he was still second guessing his approach. He was still second guessing his run up guard break. He wanted her to jump, yeah. and she did. Just stood there. And the second time, he ate the DP. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Nerves of steel, these guys. But I think the story of this match so far is whoever rages second probably still loses the interaction. <laughs> Hey! Oh, we did it too late! Ow! Oh, oh, no. Nice punish there from Gamera. He could have SSM, but he's opted to hold on to it. I, I, with someone like Shiki, I actually think it's worth holding on to this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I was about to say. Uh, very strong option, and it, it shuts down a lot of things. Like we were talking about, the SSM uh, could punish the tap. Punish the tap, punishes, like, uh, fireballs. Nice counter poke there from Gamera. Feeding the startup of Mjima's far B uh, with his own. Ooh, baby. Okay, punishes the recoil with the 5B again. That was dangerous because Mjima could. Oh my god! Wow, Mjima is just throwing it away. Yeah, that was. um. He was trying to OS the in block stun, but he wasn't counter on it with him. And uh, since it whiffed, uh, he was able to cancel it into the DP there. <laughs> Nice. Another counter poke. He has such a good read on when Mjima likes to press buttons. He's ready for it this time. You saw a couple times in the earlier games that he was getting that far and medium, but he wasn't canceling it into uh, dash, Rekka. But now, 100%. I'm just checking him right now. What are you going to do about these kicks? Nice. Hello. Very sneaky time to run forward and throw during the recovery of that uh, far A. Gamera's just holding on to this lead right now. Yeah, man, that must be frustrating to deal with, you know, just like having to- Oh, oh my god, the A tier tab! He got sick of that nonsense. Oh like, my god. That's your ass, bro. Gamera now does have rage. If he, if Gamera can land a, a throw here, he can force out the rage explosion. Oh, cut him back dashing though. All right, Rage subsides. 10 seconds remaining. Oh, nice DP. What? What a turnaround. Yeah. Oh my god. And now MG was Dude, like, he's got crap, lead I landed the full pot charge. Oh my god. And he god. down for it, and it still went down like this. What the hell? That was the first time he used that down heavy this entire set. But it was the perfect time to do it, We're perfectly uh, hitting him out of the running uh, slide that he just that he had just attempted. But at the same time, you just gotta look like Mjima had he he had the situation in his favor. Yeah. He hit the full charge crazy downpour. He had the time on his side, and he, he kept overextending, dude. Yeah. That's Gam Gamera's plan is to make you overextend into his buttons. He and never adjusted. Yeah, he just played right into it. That's uh, very unfortunate for Mjima. He were, he, that was winner's side. That was winner's side, so he's down on the loser's side. But at the same time, it's just like, whoa, man. Like, you, I mean, ho hopefully that was, <laughs> I hate to say, a data gathering segment, assuming that they will see each other again in grand finals. Yeah. But, you know, 